Hey, what's going on, everyone? So, Canopy Growth Stock has been making waves in the stock market as of late. Let's get right into it, but first, here are the numbers for today. We've got a rise of 2.52 per share, or 14.86%. CGC currently trades at 19.48 per share. 52 week low is $9 per share, 50 week high is 36.31. Market cap is $6.1 billion. Volume today is $19.2 million. Also, I'm posting videos every day on the most popular stock each day, so make sure you hit that subscribe button below. So overall, all the stocks in the sector, which I'm going to avoid saying because of this platform's policies, have performed extremely well in the past few days. In coming off of Aurora's news to focus on North America, Canopy Growth Stock made a big announcement of its plans to also focus on the U.S. market. And for those of you who haven't been following the stock very closely, the stock got hammered in the March COVID crash, bringing it down from around 20 bucks a share to around 10 bucks a share. But along with the general market, CGC has recovered as of today to within a dollar or two of its price pre-crash. But going back even further, the stock is down almost 50% in the past year, which we will discuss in just a bit. But first, let's address why Canopy was up today. And the answer is related to their announcement yesterday that they are launching an online store for CBD products in the United States, which, by the way, is in fact, I report, legal at a federal level in the United States as opposed to the leafy variety that is not legal. So this looks at a close glance a very smart move. CBD oil has become more and more popular in the United States, with the NFL recently becoming involved with it. CBD has many uses, including muscle recovery, pain relief, anxiety relief, depression, and more. So people definitely benefit from using this product. So there is an interest. But going back to the before, if you look at canopy growth stock in the past year, it has gotten hammered overall due to the company not growing as expected, considering how high these expectations have in fact been. Obviously, the potential this market has for growth has motivated many investors to put their money in this Canadian-based company. But last year, with disappointing earnings reports and overall less than expected growth in the Canadian uh, weed market, many people were not pleased, and so they divested, thus driving the stock price down. Also noted, Constellation Brands, which is a major U.S. producer of alcoholic beverages, owns a 38% stake in the company, and they weren't pleased either, which was evident in the company switching CEOs, which was reportedly a decision that originated within Constellation's frustration. But overall, this market has been very popular lately, with Shopify, Aurora Cannabis, Afria, Planet 13, and many other stocks like Canopy have demonstrated. I think one huge consequence on these stocks could be the outcome of the 2020 election. If Democrats keep power in the House or gain power in the Senate, as well as Biden defeating Trump, we could very well see a federal legalization of this stuff, which would be huge for these companies. But again, going back to Canopy, I think this is a really smart move investing in the CBD market, which at the moment is federally legal and has the interest of many people. If you check out the website at shopcanopy.com, you can see they have soft gels, oils, topical creams, and a separate sports section for their products. So this will be very interesting to see how this store affects their revenue and if they can drive traffic to this platform. But keep watching the stock for sure. These speculative stocks have massive potential but at the same time have crazy risk, so be careful. That's all i got for today. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please give it a like and subscribe if so, and I hope to catch you in tomorrow's video.